Um, as we talk to T.I. right now, you're doing something with a, a, a movie, with, and I want you to talk about this Roots movie. Yeah. Because I think when it first was announced, we put up a poll, and people were saying, you know, oh, man, not another. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. And i tell you the conversation I had. Yeah. It's, I went home, and my, my wife said, you know, I was a little disappointed with you today. And I was like, why? She's like, you know, you was talking about that whole Roots thing. And she said, why shouldn't they do that? She said, you know what? When, when the Jewish people, as soon as their kids are old enough, they told them about that Holocaust. That's right. They show them that. That's right. And they said, you know, our people, we, we forget about stuff, and then we don't want to relive it. She said, why not have T.I. and those people show it to the new generation who's forgotten? Sure. So sure. she changed my whole perspective on it. I was like. But that was the exact. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I had the same uh, apprehensions as, as everyone else did. Right. Uh, before I even decided to do it, when Will Packer approached me about doing it, I'm like, man, I don't want to. A slave? Right. <laughs> really? But I mean, but but to be honest with you, after I got into the script, after I read the story and saw how different this uh this 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 particular uh adaptation of, of, of the story was than the last one, this is a lot less apologetic, a lot less uh subservient. You know okay. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. There's much more truth. You know what I'm saying? There's much more mm. brutal honesty okay. in this one. Okay. Uh, and it definitely suits the time. I think that, you know, there were only so much, there was only so much that we could show that that, that society could digest at the time of right. the original mm -hmm. film taking place. Uh, but this one, man... I think people are gonna be proud of it when they see it. I do believe, at least, you know, they're gonna they're gonna love my part. You know what I'm saying? Aww. <laughs> uh I love my character, man. My character. Can man. you tell us more about your character? Sure, man. I play Cyrus. I play Cyrus. Cyrus was a uh a, 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 a runaway slave, man, a non-subservient runaway slave who hooked up with Chicken George uh and, and urge Chicken George to, instead of just going back to find their family to go and enlist into the Union Army and fight for freedom. So, you know, instead of just running and running and running, I ran to the Union Army and said, man, I fight for mine. And we won and walked back home free. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, and I mean, I think that, you know, that's the, those parts of back history are important so we can see how far we've come, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and what it took us to get here. Right. You know, and how far we have not come too. This is also true. Yeah. But but I mean I think that you have to you have to give you have to give balance and perspective. You know what I'm saying? In order for in order for someone to to 100% evolve completely. Right. Now you know we were talking about the roots movie, and I asked you, "Were you still filming?" You said it's finished. Yeah, it's done. It'll be at Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Memorial Day. So is that moved up? Yeah, it was. They, they, I think it was originally slated to come out uh, February of 17 because 17 will be the 40th anniversary. Okay. But I guess when they uh, when they when they announced that that it was being done, mm -hmm. uh, the the reception was so was so vast that they they moved it up. Mm. So Memorial Day, mark it up. And you said it's going to be on the whole, like, simulcast. Yeah, they're going to simulcast it. And I don't want to get these, uh, I don't want to get You're going to get them wrong. Yeah, these TV stations wrong. But I believe it's, uh, I know it's uh, the Biography Channel, the History Channel, uh, I believe Nat Geo. Uh -huh. uh, you know, a lot of those education, all them education. <laughs> all channels, the education you know ones. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Will Packer's involved, yeah, of course. Uh, and it's, you know, it's it's a, it's a pretty huge deal. It's well, we're looking forward deal. to it, man. Extremely significant. Especially the way you told it, like, saying, like, for, for this generation, like, I'm going to a Black History Month program today with Sonona Clayton, C.T. Vivian, okay. all those people who were, like, in the trenches. Right. But, you know, they, they were in that black and white, you know, you, all the... The dogs sticking on people is in black and white, and, yeah. right, and in right. color they need to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think, um, I mean, man, you know, this nation, man, has come a long way. We still have a long way to go. Uh, I think back then it was, it was, it was very, very, it was tough because the violence was so, it was treacherous in our face. But right now, 
it's treacherous because it's not in our face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The things that are done mostly, to, the things that are done to hurt, hurt us most happen without us knowing and without us being able to see or defend ourselves from it. So. I think it's, you know what I'm saying, we have, we, we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go still. I'm looking at this tweet that you put out. Just because a black man goes to jail doesn't mean he's a bad man, but I bet you won't share this. It's a picture of uh, MLK yeah. in the police department for Birmingham, Alabama. Why did you tweet that? Well, I mean, I think that I think that a lot of, for one, systematically, black people, a lot of us have taken trips in or out of jail you know what I mean and when we get out of jail a lot of people feel that okay well because he's gone here then he's a bad seed stay away from him don't hire him you know what I mean and I I, I think that that has to, we have to overcome that stereotype right we have to because man I mean wrong turns are taken you know Al just said he took a wrong turn coming from Greenbrier. Uh, he was just scared to death, but he's still here. He made it. You know what I mean? He made it. Al, did you die? <laughs> he, all, he was scared I mean, though. He was scared though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and I'm not even just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for you know, like most of the reasons. And, and don't get me wrong, there some people go to jail to serve beat up. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right, but but, right, but, but right. once they serve their time, it's some people who take that time and, and who actually make a change in themselves for the better. And when they get back out, they deserve a clean slate. They deserve, mm. you know, they deserve opportunities. They deserve, you know, the ability to go and, and, and create a new life for themselves using the things that they've learned. And if society doesn't have in their mind that it's possible for someone to correct themselves, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll always have that stereotype in place. Mm -hmm. So how can people get tickets for the night, man? What, what do they got to do? Well, you can go to Tyler. You can go to Tyler or you can catch you can catch Greg Street. You know what I mean? It's, it's simple as that. It's, Tyler or Greg Street? Yeah, you can't really pay your way in. You can't pay your way in. Unless... Ha! 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 And Empress Search are getting out this afternoon with tickets, man. Stay tuned to V103 to find out where uh, Greg and Empress Search are going to be, man. We yeah, appreciate yeah. it, Tip. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all always looked out for me, man. I'm talking about mm -hmm. from, from day one. Day so one, man. You already know that. I appreciate that. that. <laughs> I appreciate one. that. Love. When's the album going to drop? Man, uh, that is yet to be determined. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to keep sprinkling little things here yeah, and there? Yeah, man. I'm, yeah, man. I mean... I have it. I have it. I just got to figure out, you know, when I want to put it at and how I want to put it at. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah, the general manager Boy. Just, just tweeted me. She said, how could we not do it? I know. Uh, shout out to Christina Forey. That's she what's said, up. She's very cannot, pretty. She said, cannot be replaced. We Aww. knew we had to make it happen. It's smart for us and our community. Awesome. So, nice. They had to make it happen. I certainly appreciate that. You know did you think I mean? it was going to happen? I did. You know, I've learned, you know, I've learned not to question. And, you know, when Hannah says she, she, she could make something happen. But it took a lot. It took a lot of, you know, a lot of ideas, a lot of mm -hmm. back and forth, you know, just to conceptually figure out what the vision would be. Right. You know what I'm saying? What, how it would all come together. Uh, but I think that because that has been, you know, Greenbrier has been such a staple in, in the community mm -hmm. and, and so significant to, you know, my upbringing. That's where I went to get all my Jordans and even, you know, even back to, you know, getting my, my Easter shoes. You know what oh. I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about like back, back, back when, back, back, when, back. The, when the movie theater was in the right. was downstairs. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it all came together. I, I appreciate the opportunity. I really do.